So one of my favorite places in Oregon to go away for a few nights is the coast. And the Oregon coastline is spectacular. As I've already said in previous videos, Manzanita is my favorite coastal town because it has several cute places to eat. It's an adorable town, but never feels too crowded or touristy like the neighboring Cannon Beach. It's also really well located and takes me about an hour and 45 minutes to get to from Portland. So in today's video, I wanted to cover two things. Firstly, show you a little around Manzanita, but also show you my favorite place to stay when I come here. So stay tuned as we explore the coastal town of Manzanita, Oregon. So hotels in Manzanita are limited, so the majority of people who stay here will probably be renting a beach house via an Airbnb or VRBO. And the vacation rental I'm staying at is called Manzanita Bliss. It's approximately three blocks on the beach, and one of the first things you may notice about this house is that it feels like you're staying in a forest. In fact, there's a park directly across from the house, so you're surrounded by large pine trees. The front yard has this super cute covered seating area with a gas fireplace, which I thought was a really nice touch. Now the interior has been beautifully renovated and I love the open floor plan. The house accommodates for up to six people and at maximum capacity, you're not gonna feel overcrowded due to a plethora of different seating areas. The kitchen is also really spacious and this huge island is a great place to prepare large meals or have an afternoon glass of wine. And the dining table comfortably seats six people. There's a couple of seats in front of the gas fireplace, a large sofa in front of the television, and my favorite, which is this recliner next to the board game and puzzle collection. Now I've stayed at several vacation rentals along the coast, and this one has by far the best decor and thoughtful touches throughout. For example, take a look at the chalkboard behind me, which has the house rules. The main primary suite is upstairs and it's really light and bright and incredibly spacious. There's also a private half bathroom up here. A little bonus seating area to the side. and also a private balcony to sit out and enjoy a morning coffee. Back on the main floor is a second bedroom with a couple of different sleeping options and you can comfortably sleep three or even four people down here. This bedroom also has a full bathroom. Also on this floor are the laundry facilities, a full bathroom, and another smaller room with a day bed. The backyard is like a private oasis. 
It's fully fenced too, so it works well if you bring your four-legged friends. There's also an outside dining table with gas grill and of course additional seating areas. Now what I really like about this home is that it's set up not just for short stays but longer stays too. Many of you will probably appreciate this office in its own private studio overlooking the backyard. So this is where I like to stay when I come to Manzanita. I've put a link in the description below in case this is a property you might want to stay at too. Now please do subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It really does help me out and it also makes me feel good. Until next time, thanks for watching.